Hi, this is Mr. Gill, and today we're looking at series circuits. So what we need to know about a series circuit is that there is only one pathway for the electrons to travel on. We also need to know that if it starts out with 9 volts, that all 9 volts are going to be used up across the different loads. And here are some examples of loads. Those are resistors. They could be light bulbs, they could be buzzers, but in this case we're just using resistors. So I'm starting out with 9 volts. That means I'm going to have to use up all 9 volts across the two resistors. How do I find the voltage on this second one? So I just do 9 volts, take away 3 volts, oops, sorry about that, a little messy there, and that leaves me with a total of 6 volts. So I know the voltage voltages on this one. Let's say I was also asked, if I had an ammeter here, what's the current here? Well, remember that there's only one pathway for all the electrons to follow. So if my current here is 2 amps, then here, at this other part of the circuit, it also has to be 2 amps. And let's say I measured it here, too. It would also be 2 amps. Now, let's do some more advanced calculations. Let's figure out what the resistance is in ohms on resistor 1 and resistor 2. Well. I know that from my Ohm's law, where I drew my diagram V, I, R, in that triangle, if I want to find R, I just have to do V over I. Let me switch colors here. Great. Now I'm going to take R is equal to V over I, or in this case, 3 volts over the current 2 amps. Because remember that the current is the same everywhere in the circuit. And that leaves me with 1.5 ohms. Now let's look at it in this one. Resistor 2. I'll do that again. R is equal to V over I. So here we determine the voltage first with 6 volts. Now we do the current 2 amps. 6 divided by 2, 3 ohms. So those are some of the laws uh, regarding uh, calculations with series circuits. Tune into my next video to watch me do some calculations using the rules around parallel circuits.